Welcome to Beardstown, a tightly knit community along the Illinois River. He was good at what he did on the river. That quiet sense of peace was shattered Thanksgiving Day, 2010. Our community wants to know what happened to Troy Logston. Logston was last seen walking out of this bar with his wife Sandra the night before. No one saw him leave the parking lot. We interviewed hundreds of people. You know, it was the night before Thanksgiving. You would think that somebody would have been around to hear something, see something. 45 minutes after leaving the bar, Logsdon was dead. His body halfway in a ditch, less than 12 blocks away. He died being transported in a car. That's the way that it appeared to me. The autopsy showed Logsdon died of blunt force trauma. Police say his death wasn't natural and wasn't an accident either. He was murdered. I I believe what the coroner jury ruled was was very true. I mean that's what evidence we have. We want to go forward with. We want to give the state's attorney enough evidence to prosecute a homicide case. Cass County coroner and Logsdon's longtime friend Wyatt Sager believes the victim's wife knows more than she's saying. You think that she knows something? Oh, absolutely. Yes. You think his wife knows who killed him? Absolutely. We tried, but were unable to reach Logson's wife, and police aren't saying if she's a person of interest. They will say the investigation is still very active. It's not a cold case right now. It's it's still, you know, very warm case to us. Uh, actually, we worked on stuff this week even. Even so, Sager says there's one major problem. It's the lack of uh, physical evidence. And until there's a break in the case, it's tough not to get discouraged. Do you think that you're going to get the person responsible? I believe that every day. I mean, I, I, you know, Troy was a good friend of mine, and and uh, you know, I don't go, I don't go to sleep at night ever without thinking we're going to end up with a conclusion to this case. I think if 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 I could tell Troy one thing, um, I would just tell him I was really sorry. I would tell him I was sorry that I didn't do more before this ever happened. In Beardstown, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20.